Good morning. Welcome to your 10 a.m. daily weather briefing. We have some humid and partly cloudy conditions across the region this morning. Going to see some pop-up showers and thunderstorms for this afternoon. We'll be fairly isolated in variety across the peninsula and Best chance will be across the central portions of Delmarva, as was the case yesterday, and will be the case today. Looking at our current radar imagery, you can see we do have some showers and thunderstorms across the northwestern portions of Delmarva, currently in the central and Dorchester County area. We do have some showers that are currently continuing to weaken across the western portions of the southern Chesapeake Bay, uh, just west of Wallops. We do have a pop-up shower uh, just north of Exmoor. Going to see these showers develop uh, mainly uh, west of the Route 13 corridor, or just west and up and across the central portion of the peninsula today, with the best chances of some showers and thunderstorms this afternoon across Wicomico County into Salisbury. But we'll have a slight chance, about a 25% chance of seeing a thunderstorm at Wallops for this afternoon. So do have uh, some sea breeze boundaries as well as a very humid atmosphere and some instability across the region. So can't rule that shower thunderstorm out for our area today. But overall, looking at our sounding from this morning, freezing level at 14,300 feet. Some light winds throughout the column, southeast to 11 knots at the low levels then becoming variable and less than 10 knots between 3 and 9,000 feet, and seeing our winds more southwesterly, increasing slightly with height, only up to 22 knots at 25,000 feet of the southwest this morning. So taking a look at our current surface analysis, a weak boundary across the western portions of the Delmarva Peninsula this morning, uh, tropical depression Fred that will become remnants of Fred moving through the Appalachians today and tomorrow, that's just going to allow for us to see more uh, south to southeasterly flow across the region for tomorrow. Going to see a chance of some thunderstorms and showers late in the day on uh, Wednesday into Thursday morning uh, with that best chance as uh, Fred passes well west of our region and providing us with a bit more moisture and some more uh, convergence across the region uh, with a weak boundary moving through for late Wednesday into Thursday with our best chance of showers and thunderstorms. So taking a look at our satellite imagery this morning, you can see those showers and thunderstorms across the northwestern portions of the Delmarva Peninsula this morning, uh, particularly across Dorchester County into Cambridge. Uh, seeing some cumulus clouds starting to develop across the Delmarva and uh, central and southern Delmarva, uh, especially, as I mentioned, that with that shower near Exmoor, seeing some uh, also some higher cumulus across uh, and north of the Wallops region, about 20 to 25 nautical miles to the north. And uh, as I mentioned, going to see a chance of those pop-ups today. So looking at our camera shot this morning, you can see that cumulus cloud off to the uh, north and to the west. And, and taking a quick pan here, you can see that we do have uh, that cumulus cloud really developed along the Route 13 corridor this morning. And taking a look at our HER model for today, you can see we do have those showers uh, possibly popping up around the region from about noon to 4 o'clock this afternoon uh, and uh, continuing across the area. The HER here doesn't show as much activity or coverage this afternoon across the central Delmarva. I do expect uh, a decent amount of showers across and north of our area today uh, with uh, the setup that we do have in place. But we move into Wednesday uh, morning, going to see a very slight chance of shower moving through Wednesday morning. But overall, our chances uh, won't really uh, develop until late Wednesday uh, into Thursday morning. Here's 9 p.m. Uh, Thursday, excuse me, Wednesday evening. And you can see the herb brings through a line of convection, uh, possibly some embedded thunderstorms, uh, typically with this Rich tropical moisture moving through with remnants of tropical systems uh, can be difficult to get lightning uh, to, to develop across the region as the rain process is a bit different. But uh, looks like we could have an embedded thunderstorm across the region um, Wednesday evening into Thursday morning uh, with some showers and possibly some uh, embedded heavier rainfall. Looking at 
the European model for the next few days. You can see that rainfall across the region for today and then for Wednesday, uh, bringing those showers through uh, late Wednesday into Thursday morning. And then Thursday looks like for our rock set mission, uh, skies should clear out some, seeing a little bit more cloud cover in the low levels and mid level, uh, excuse me, upper levels across the region for Thursday evening, but should see partly cloudy conditions. We'll be kind of uh, in between uh, what will be uh, NRA out across the uh, southwestern Atlantic and what was Fred across the northeast states with a weak area high pressure building in behind the remnants of Fred across the area for Thursday e evening. That should give us um, some decent conditions across the region. Uh, right now, it looks like with the timing of the remnants of Fred moving through quicker, should see that uh, uh, better weather in store for our Thursday evening. And then we move into our Friday. Looks like we're going to have an unsettled time uh, with showers and thunderstorms developing each afternoon for Friday, Saturday, and possibly into Sunday. We'll have an upper level trough moving through, and that's going to give us some good chances of showers and thunderstorms, especially on Friday afternoon and into Saturday as well. Looks like a chance of some showers and thunderstorms. And moving to Sunday, should see most of that energy move off the coast, but uh, with that upper level trough still nearby, can't rule out some pop-up showers and thunderstorms for Sunday afternoon. And then for Monday, it looks like finally we'll start to break into more of a drier pattern after we'll see some fairly wet conditions, it looks like, from Friday through Sunday. So taking a look at our risk chart today, we'll have a 25% chance of a shower and thunderstorm this afternoon, a high of 84, a low tonight of 76. Southeasterly winds, a south-southeasterly wind, 7 to 12 knots, and becoming more southerly tonight at 5 to 10 knots with the humid conditions we have. And if we do see some rainfall across the region today, could see those ceilings or uh, some patchy fog tonight, but looks like those chances are remaining below 15%. So overall for our 24-hour terminal forecast, should see uh, some decent conditions today. Still have a little bit of low-level cloud cover out there this morning, but should see that start to clear out for this afternoon with the ceilings above 3,000 feet this afternoon. A chance of some rain showers as well as a 25% chance of thunderstorm from uh, 1,200 to 1,600. And then after that, shouldn't see any chances of rainfall. Uh, slight chances of sprinkle tomorrow morning, but uh, it is below 15% and a slight chance in general, and after 8 o'clock local on Wednesday morning. And Wednesday morning, we should see uh, partly cloudy skies, some filtered sunshine with a good amount of cirrus across the region. Our tides are slightly above normal, and looking at Wednesday through Thursday, Wednesday partly to mostly cloudy, humid, and breezy. Slight chance of a shower, thunderstorm in the afternoon, evening, high of 85. Wednesday night, mostly cloudy, overcast, the chance of showers, and a slight chance of a bad thunderstorm, a low of 76. And for Thursday, Mostly cloudy, a slight chance of a lingering shower early, then partly cloudy, hot, humid, with a slight chance of a pop-up shower or thunderstorm in the afternoon, a high of 88 degrees. Uh, Wednesday looks like we'll have winds gusting 22 to 23 knots, so could see a wind advisory briefly Wednesday afternoon. Right now, it looks like only about a 20% chance of that occurring. Our chances of thunderstorms, as I mentioned, looking at the HER, looks like they should come after uh, that uh, time frame here of Wednesday at 8 p.m., which uh, starts at Wednesday night here at Wednesday 8 p.m. You can see a highlighted here, the uh, shower and thunderstorm chances for Wednesday night. And then a, a slight chance of seeing a shower after uh, Thursday 8 a.m. Uh, but overall, looking like those shower chances and thunderstorm chances are slight during the afternoon hours on Thursday, most likely will not uh, be over the WAPS region. So taking a look at our seven-day outlook, um, getting a better idea of the thunderstorm and shower chances yesterday did have uh, a number of slight chances in there. Um, right now, looking like a 25% chance today, a better chance Wednesday evening into Thursday morning uh, with that remnants of Fred moving to our west. Uh, Going to see highs in the mid 80s today and tomorrow, upper 80s for Thursday with more of a southwesterly or westerly component. For Thursday late morning in the afternoon hours that should allow us to see the upper 80s on Thursday with the rain showers confined to the morning hours on Thursday. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday looks like, um, as I mentioned, unsettled weather pattern. Best chances of rainfall and thunderstorms come Friday and Saturday. And then Sunday looks like more isolated variety of showers and thunderstorms 
uh, with sea breeze type uh, pop-ups. On Monday, we'll see partly cloudy conditions, highs in the mid to upper 80s, but overall very seasonable weather as far as our temperatures go, mid to upper 80s for the next seven days, uh, overnight lows in the mid to lower 70s, so um, fairly typical for this time of year with the warm water off our coast not allowing those temperatures, uh, the overnight lows to get uh, down to the 60s. Uh, taking a quick look at NRA and uh, where it is currently located uh, just south of Bermuda, uh, seeing maximum stain winds at 50 miles an hour, moving west-southwest at 5 miles an hour. Taking a look at the visible imagery, you can see uh, seeing some clouds circulate around the system towards Bermuda, but only seeing some scattered to isolated showers. Not going to see this system uh, move much closer to Bermuda than it is right now uh, with that track off to the south and to the west. And taking a look at our tropical models and the forecasted uh, track of Henri, you can see that it's going to move towards the west or west-southwest and then fairly far away from uh, Bermuda and then start to make another turn as that trough, as I mentioned, uh, this weekend pushes towards the east coast and directs the system off to the north and to the east away from Bermuda. So Bermuda looks like it will be spared and they're not going to see really hardly any conditions uh, deteriorate from the system. Uh, possibly a few more showers today and tomorrow moving it around the system, but overall uh, not seeing uh, very adverse conditions uh, as the system moves uh, well away from Bermuda the next uh, 48 hours. Well, that's going to complete our 10 a.m. weather briefing. I hope everybody has a great day. We'll be back tomorrow morning at 8.15 and at 10 a.m.